Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 11 of my Alpha 17 Experimental Let's Play. Seven days to die. <laughs> um, oh look, uh, looks like we need to eat and drink. I've been busy through the night. Oh my god, I forgot. I moved everything. It's not here anymore. <laughs> uh, it is just about daytime, so let's get up here. <laughs> Oh, I had to push E twice again to get that thing to open. Okay, our food is going to be here, I think. Oh, and we are 32 down, so we're definitely going to keep that. I think we're pretty low on water, too, so we're going to drink a yucca juice. Um... <laughs> I sort of separated it out, uh, so these are like secondary ingredients that make other things, um, and these are our farming ingredients, uh, stuff that we're going to be able to farm, plus, you know, the meat and eggs and fat, because uh, I didn't really know. I guess we could put that in the other chest, uh, maybe make room for our uh, farmed ingredients. Nah, I think we'll leave it alone. We might use this for... We might actually put the cotton and the aloe vera in here. Um, right now I've been just putting it in the uh, medical chest because that's what it's going to be used for to make the cream and bandages. <laughs> so, yeah. I I worked as much as I could on the outside, but I didn't get everything done. I think we might actually need more fence, more fence eye fences, fences. Uh, we do that over here. We still have sixteen hundred wood. I would, um, I think on one of my nights. Uh, oh look, it's four o'clock now. Uh, you can see the light change. On one of my nights, I'm probably going to start a another level underground to uh, s to investigate that. Because there was a gravel patch uh, that I hit digging out that room. So I think there's going to be more iron down there to be had, which will be really nice. Um, so let's make... The wood fence. Let's probably make at least another 50, maybe 100. So that's good. I did make more uh, spikes and get some of those laid out um, around just the, the base here. Because that's where they seem to wind up the most. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and put them back there as well if if I have enough resources to do it because they do congregate around the pillars um, and I would definitely definitely like to get those outside pillars um, upgraded all right so let's let's do that real quick let's get these guys upgraded at least, oh that one was hurt least the bottom two because that seems uh and if we have enough we'll do the third one. Oh this is still this isn't as fast as I thought it would be. <laughs> I thought it would be significantly faster than you know the hammer. Oh there's a burning guy almost jacked again. Um, let's go say hello. Let's see, Ken. Oh my god. Oh, I was, I wanted to see if we could catch the burning guy on fire. Hey, 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 hey. We're not open yet. Please, um, come back again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have some more rides and amusements set up for you. Look! 
You ruined my spikes, you evil, evil lady. Uh, no, I don't. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it, it won't be long and we'll be ready. Um, I, I really want to get these upgraded though because they do break them so quickly with it being just a cobblestone. It only has like 500 hit points. Um, how many does it have with... It's got 1500, so... Oh yeah, that gives it like a thousand more hit points. Heck yeah. Ah, oh, I hear you. I know, I know. You want service? Uh, please just form a line. <laughs> I probably, if I have enough, I want to get uh, that third one done because they do seem to be able to reach the third one by uh, piggybacking on people's shoulders and whatnot. I did bring my metal out. Oh, look at that. So that um, we could upgrade our doors on our choke point and also maybe make some barbed wire. Okay, that one was it. How much? We got 152. That'll be 15. I don't think we're going to have enough. We got, uh, we have 1300 rocks and I know we have uh, tons of clay left over. So uh, we'll just run in and grab some and make it while we're doing other things. Um, it is only day 11, so we're, uh, we're doing good getting this prep work done before the board. Uh, I really think it's important because I have seen like um, the the screamers are no joke <laughs> as you can uh, see in the last video. Uh, we did have a screamer. Oh hello Mr. Tubby Tubby. Mr. 1200. He's gone booty up. There we go. <laughs> uh, I don't like it when Mr. Tubby Tubby goes booty up. Maybe he'll fart. Okay, we're out. So let's go in. Um, I think I moved the, the dirt and stuff to here. I was right. <laughs> there we go. So I don't know. Let's make another... Four, five hundred. Um, yeah, let's do five hundred. That's gonna be more than what we need, but we'll probably need more um, cobblestone blocks anyway before we get done. Okay, where were we? Uh, oh, look, we were only like two short. There. So that's good. Uh, now, oh man, zombies are just coming in. They want, they want the amusement park done. Whoa! Oh look, there's another. They, they must be advertising on uh, on social media. <laughs> Zombie Land is opening soon. Come see the rides before. You see the rides. Oh, what you think of that, sucker? Okay. We need our experience too. Uh, we, I think we get a little bit of experience. Uh, so let's get, oh no our wood frames out so we can measure and get these other doors uh, lined up. So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then, nope, 
and then oh I hear you I hear you I hear the burning man where is he oh he's all the way over there wow um I know I have uh the game sound up but I find that where did my I thought I Okay, so we can pick these back up. Boing, 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 boing. I have my game sound up because it is so important that you hear uh, on Saturdays to die. Because if you don't, you die. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, plus, I want the metal to upgrade these doors. Um... Yeah, the doors you can't upgrade as far as the hatches. Let's upgrade these. You can only upgrade them once with metal. The hatches you can do like, I don't know, three or four times. All right. Let's get this other doorway nailed up. Um. Maybe we'll get Bernie McBurnison before we do the door so he doesn't like sneak up on us and wreck our day. It's raining! You shouldn't be on fire! Ooh, I just one-shotted him right on the chin! I went through all this grass and um, harvested all of the, you know, the non-grass things that were to be had around here. Apparently I missed a snowberry. Um, can't really plant those, so... Ah, nerds. There we go. Uh, we're missing a ladder there. Let's get that back up there. Um, lickety split. We're going to have to upgrade those eventually. Especially since the zombies are gonna get out from in front of my doorway. I want these, um, I don't think they're gonna go through it, but we'll see once we get the, the full fence around, and then I'm gonna go through and like probably destroy all of the grass on the inner part. Yeah, okay, it looks like that one's been upgraded. And so is that one. Okay, so all of those have been upgraded. Excellent. Um, I sort of killed the grass uh, right here. It, it's so a little bit harder to place these fence blocks with the grass in the way. Sometimes they cause you to misplace the blocks, which is no good. It's no good, I tell you. No good could come of misplacing our precious fence blocks. But had to be made in the cake as well. All right, how'd we do over here? It looks like uh, we went a little bit too close. Get these guys. Yeah, our farm's going good too. Um, I got uh, some more seeds made and planted. All right, uh, that's facing the wrong way. Oh, we, we want to nail down the corner uh, <laughs> so 
so we know where to put the blocks. <coughs> okay, so... That's 10. So that's 10, so this should be our corner right here. I guess I only needed to make uh, two of those three lines. Okay, so... Come on. Ah! Oh. Stupid grass. Go ahead and place this one. Come on, just a little bit. There you go. And then we gotta turn this one and place it on this block. Okay, and then um, we do one, two, three, and then four. And then this is where our opening is going to be. And then we do the fence the rest of the way. I need to flatten that out. Uh, that's where a rock was, I think. Oh. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Okay. It's all going according to plan. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we can um, get this part nailed down. So far I haven't seen any of them go for the doors, but I don't think it's going to... Oh, dude, why? There was no grass. I made sure of it. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a real test until we get the whole thing enclosed. Oh, I thought I flattened this. Did I miss a spot? Looks like I missed. Why can't I place a block there? There we go. Yeah. Let's see if we can not misplace any of these blocks. Awesome. Okay, sip time. Gotta get those sips in before it gets too cold. The coffee, that is. All right. Um, there you go. That's the right way. Oh, come on. Okay, two. That's four. One, two, three, four. I just want the bottom part. This. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. The, the zombies are getting concerned. They're not sure whether to be excited or not. I'm, I'm not sure that they this is quite the amusement park that they may have um, first had in their head. <laughs> why that is uh, nobody would have told them and led them uh, to believe wrongly uh, yeah we just went through about 60 of those so we're probably gonna need the other ones to finish it up oh I was gonna you know, I was gonna go ahead and place these traps Like a soul. Um, and I'm thinking I could put some barbed wire fence around these guys. Yep, 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 yep. 
It's gonna be good times for all. Zombie and humankind alike. <laughs> Okay, there we go. And this should be our corner. Alright, so let's place... Um, no. There. And there. And then we can place that one. Turn this one to place that way. And then three. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clear the grass. The grass is dumb. Do the grass. Well, the grass is useful, but I'm just being ornery. Clear the grass along the fence line up. We don't want it mucking our beautiful fence up. And we're gonna uh, clear all of the the straw on the inside. I mean, the, the plant fibers. What you doing here? Are you look lonely. Oh, need a power attack. Power attack. I was really happy to get that um, steel fire axe in the last episode. That was amazingly awesome. And the nail gun. Um, yeah, I think these guys are going to need to go. Anything else look close? Alright, did I get the four place down? No. Oh! Oh, a wandering horde! Look at them! Hello! Hello, hello! I'm sorry we're not open for business yet, but if you come back tomorrow, I'm sure you will be happy. <laughs> uh, at least I will be. Oh, I missed. Oh, right on the chin. Oh, swing and a miss. Batter, batter, batter. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Let's go get these guys. Hey, welcome to Zombie Land, where all are welcome. You are welcome, that is right. Welcome to come any time you want, and except for today. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we leveled up, level 40 years. I think that's cement time. We're out of stamina. Boink! Boink! I love this hammer, it's so awesome. The lighted hammer of your what? What the? Mm. Mm. I thought he was down. I thought he was down. My bad. My bad. I was talking smack. Pre-smack talking. It's a thing. Oh. It, it really sucks to miss with this because it takes so much stamina. Swing. Don't want to miss. Why was, oh, I think that was just a double experience. Oh yeah, just a friendly little um, knock on the noggin. Nothing serious. Hello, Bertha. Oh, and he's out. Um, yeah, let's get these guys and start pulling them away. Boink. Oh! I wonder why I'm not, you know, KOing these guys. Sometimes I hit them one time and they're just dead. 
And then other times it's like, eh? Okay. I think that's it. Now, where were we? <laughs> I think I was placing this fence down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we can place this whole line down. It'll be interesting to see if they go for the traps or the doors. Uh, I'm really hoping they go for the traps. That's, that's the whole, because it, this base design is going to be, you know, all about them going for the traps, um, not the doors. Going for the openings. Awesome. Awesome! Yeah, we don't really want to spend very many resources on this outer defense because this is just a distraction a way to come on why can't I oh I'm out I'm out <laughs> I was like why can't I place a... another ladder destroyed yeah we're definitely gonna need to upgrade those all right um our fence should be ready there we go there. I don't know. Okay. You want it there? Boink! One, two, three, four. And this is going to be the last section. Oh, we still got a section over there. Oh, let's get, get our fist. I don't want to waste durability on a tool for a piece of grass. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. Uh, can't wait for Zombie Land to be open finally. Get to start charging admission for the zombies. It'll be a good time. We're going to make lots of money. I hope those zombies pay. Okay. And hopefully this will help deal with um, the runners. Because I I'm, I'm really, really don't like the runners. Don't like the runners. Oh, come on. It's such a narrow strip that you have to place the block. I wonder if I could do this easier from the inside. Can I just... Yeah, it looks like if I just target the block here, it's much easier to place. Oh, I wish I would have done that before. There we go. <laughs> I figured it out before it was over. <laughs> okay, so now the true test is going to be whether or not they come in with the spikes there. Um, whether they go for the door. Oh no, I didn't mean to place that there. Or they go through the spikes. We already saw one lady went through the spikes, but that wasn't, it wasn't completely finished. There we go. Okay, the rest of them, I want to sort of put these back over here. Yeah, if they're around these pillars, I want them to pay, <laughs> pretty much. Okay, so now I want to make some of those barbed wire fences, uh, these guys. Um, 
So that'd be four, five, six, seven, eight for each one. And we have two on each corner. Oh, math. I think we need like 64, eight times eight, yeah. Oh, good, that's only, oh, that's 640 wood, but it's only 512 uh, scrap, and we got plenty of that, so that is good. All right, um, we're gonna need to knock a little bit of this grass away. go let those craft up for a minute uh, um, yeah because we want I, I don't think I can place it there so uh, they'll probably get in and go over here uh, so maybe I might want to, I, there's no way I can place a block there because that's where the fence is. It's on the outside of the block. Oh, look, I can place it. No, I can't because it's red. Let's see, I can't believe it even went there. Okay. So that's how I want it. Uh, that way they hit the spikes, they take damage, and then they get slowed down. We might even put some more spikes on the outside of that. So there's three layers of spikes that they have to go through. There's going to be a lot. I couldn't... That first horde day was... Uh, I had a vulture and four cops. It was um, not very pleasant. There was a lot of them. Um... The worst part is that they're running. I did not like that. Alright, so... There we go. I know they're just going to funnel through that little gap. And why wouldn't they? I would. I see a piece of grass <laughs> picking through the fence. Get off my fence! You shall not break my fence. Be gone. Okay. I said be gone. You too. Just for good measure. Okay, so that's two corners and this one looks almost clear of grass except for right here. There we go. Uh, now eventually I, I'm hoping that like this whole interior part of the fence is going to be uh, concrete. <laughs> That's way in the future. But we just made 40 so um, once we get done with this grass. Get out of my face. Oh, that was um, a zombie spawn, I think, because I just sort of lagged a little bit. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I hit the dirt in the face. Sorry, dirt. I don't want to get rid of you yet. Okay, um, we got this place a little bit more fortified. We only have 600 wood. That's not enough for another 40. We have 57 fence left. I guess that can be for repairs. Um, if zombies actually break them. I'm hoping that they don't break them. Uh, I'm hoping they come through the gaps uh, and that all will be according to my master plan. Because <laughs> uh, we gotta take the zombies through our obstacle course. Um, I'm thinking 
maybe uh, this might be the first patches that are um, made into cement and maybe we will uh, fill them with landmines so that if they do come through this they're gonna have to trip over a whole bunch of landmines and get explodified uh, <laughs> and and it'll be okay for us to put the landmines over there because we have our clear path uh, to our ladders and we'll leave these areas like right here zombie uh, zombie trap free these are going to be our pathways uh, to the promised land <laughs> the promised land the safety of our fort so <laughs> yeah this will be probably uh, I think I will definitely upgrade the base first before I do that uh, the, uh, the central pillars the central pillars, the ones that I've upgraded there. I think maybe these outside ones might need to be upgraded before those because these tend to get broken um, first. <laughs> first, uh, yeah, let's clear the, the grass out of our little pathways here golden pathway for us to take on our journey there we go and we'll clear out these uh, and maybe we'll we'll see if we can get um, I think the, the landmine recipes are locked behind a skill of perk uh, so we'll check that out um, I don't think we're ready to place the landmines yet. Uh, I'd rather them not be on dirt uh, because the dirt will just get explodified, won't it? I don't know if those uh, do damage to the blocks or if it's just um, an entity that gets damaged. I'm not sure. I haven't really played with the landmines that much because I I never really had a, a good base design like this where um, I had pathways for the zombies and pathways for me because the zombies really just never, they would just go straight for you. They would bust through whatever defenses you had and go straight for you. There was no real um, AI. Now, now we get to outsmart the zombies because uh, they, they do... They do have a more intelligent pathfinding, but we're still smarter than them. We're going to figure this out and we're going to make them pay for destroying our base. <laughs> they're, they're not going to like it coming in here. I guarantee that. Well, no, no, it's supposed to be fun for all. Um, fun for zombies and humankind alike. Yes. <laughs> so, um... Landmines here, maybe we'll put uh, more barbed wire around that once we get the landmines laid. Of course, that's going to make it a little bit harder to replace the landmines once they get exploded. Um, but I think it would be good to have an extra way to slow them down because I think once they bust a hole in... Um, once they figure out a path through this, um, if one of them breaks, I think they're all going to funnel through there. And then we'll need another way to slow them down. So we might put more barbed wire around here. And then maybe even more barbed wire along these um, and on the inside. Because... It's so hard to hit them when they're running around like freaking idiots. I swear, I mean, the path fighting is sort of helping and hurting at the same time. Because the, the zombies are running so fast. Um, they can't uh, 
if they can't find a direct path to you, they just start running around uh, like idiots. <laughs> it's like, what? Slow down, super rake. <laughs> Okay, um, it's 10 o'clock, uh, we got that, I would definitely like to make some more spikes, I don't think we have enough, <laughs> I don't think we have enough, if they break through one of these, it's not going to take that long, I want to get our inner defenses squared away, but first, let's go up, <gasps> And uh, we did make 40, and I want to see if we can make the cement mixers now. Is there a way, or do I need to make another level? Do I need more skill points? Oh, crap. We never looked at skill points this morning. Uh, so, I think that'll be under int. I think it's advanced engineering. Cement mixer. So, we need int level 6, which is available because it's level 40. It's locked behind level 40. So we can get that. Pushing. And then we can get advanced engineering to get the cement mixer. And we'll get advanced uh, electrical components. Also, we'll be able to craft a hunting rifle, pistol, and pump shotgun. <sighs> um, you can make a compound bow? Because, uh, yeah. That would be nice. Also, it looked like, yeah, science opened up. Um, and the physician being able to make first aid bandages will be nice. Now that we got the farm going, we're going to have aloe cream out the wazoo once we get it, uh, all our spots filled up. Also, plaster cast. I guess that's for broken legs. Oh. <sighs> Uh, plus Grease Monkey would be not... Oh, man, I don't have enough points. Oh, my God. <laughs> plus, I'd like the better barter. I want all the stuff and things. I still want stuff in Wrecking Crew. Um, but for now, we definitely want to be able to do the mods. And they're locked behind Yeah Science 1, 2, and 3. This will also open up Chemistry Stations ammunition, alcohol, pipe bombs, hubcap. This is what we wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah. We want this to help with our base defenses. Yes, and this one's locked behind int seven, which is level 50. So you have to be level 50 to do the tier two uh, mods. Isn't that locked behind level 50? Yes. Okay, so we definitely would like to be able to craft those first aid bandages. That would be nice too. Um, do we want mini bikes? Or, oh my god, I'm so. We have bikey, which is helpful, but it does use stamina. If we get the mini bike, We'll use gas instead of our stamina, and we'll have extra storage. But um, I've heard that the mini bike bug is back, so you don't want to leave your mini bike laying around with a bunch of stuff in it because you could lose it. Um, this I think is for multiplayer. Nearby allies get a plus one to fortitude and stamina. Yeah. That's, that sounds pretty cool, but it doesn't benefit the individual player at all. It's just uh, allies around you get buffed. And I really think I am neglecting my agility. Uh, we should have more points in this. I think I'm going to go ahead... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bump my agility up. That's probably where I'm going to put the next points to get agility uh, caught up. I've been putting everything like in strength and int. And we did put a little bit in perception. 
which is going to benefit us on Horde Night because I'm not going down there in Maitland. I'm sorry. <laughs> not going to happen. Um, but I think I got as much as I could for level 20. So I think if we did level 5, we could get another one. But that's... Uh, I really think I'm neglecting my agility. Uh, I need more of this. I need to get my max stamina increase. That means we'll be able to swing longer. Also, I have... That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, I wanted to go into minor 69er. While this doesn't... Uh, decrease our stamina usage directly um, if we do more power attack damage to blocks it's gonna break faster which means we'll use less stamina per block uh, that we break so indirectly it will affect our stamina usage so I'm I want to put points into that as well because I do I do need to gather more um, <laughs> but yeah, we need to get that fifth strength so we can put points into our pack mule and mother load. We get more stone and I'd also like to do the minor 69. There are so many points. I don't, I don't know what to spend it on first. So I'm trying to get focus on surviving and, um, gathering more resources and gathering them more efficiently that would be the good thing so enough gabbing uh, what did we come in here for uh, yeah cement mixer we got that so now let's see what it's gonna take I think it takes springs and like an engine so we're gonna have to go find an engine uh, cement mixer yeah because we haven't gotten an engine yet we got like four batteries off of one car but no engine I believe we have all of this other stuff so I think all of my wrenches are downstairs in the tool chest we'll have to move that up here uh, I want to go down here only to like smelt stuff and make cement so our tools are down here we want to grab wrenchy and we'll put this guy up uh, we're probably not gonna go far Let's go ahead and put those in there. Uh, yeah. Let's put our metal up. Uh, we will be making some more, but I want to get that cement mixer going. Uh, so that, you know, what? Why is, did I see something damaged? Oh, it must have been this block. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um, so town is this way. Now we have to go through our super secret doors. Um, there's a car right there. We looted that car uh, right off the bat. We could probably go ahead and grab that corn, the rest of that corn, and turn it into uh, corn seeds to fill up the farm. And the main thing I should have eaten before I left, the main reason I think you don't get power attack with repair tools is because that's the right click effect is to repair so that's why you don't get power attacks although I would like to clobber a zombie with a wrench um, that would just be good times but you can't power attack so but uh, I think hitting a zombie with a wrench would be close to hitting them with the hammer also, we need to, like, lose... Did we ever lose this house? I don't know. I think there's another one like it over on the other side over there. So we've looted something similar. Also, these dead corn plants are worth 
35 experience? Is it? 25. Five. Fifteen. I'm trying to see how much. Forty. So it's just random fifteen to like forty five that you get for the dead corn flame. So that's it's um I'm not gonna say no. I was gonna come over here and get it anyway, but yes please, I'll take the forty five experience, fifteen to forty five experience for knocking down those uh dead corn plants and getting some uh, straw and plant fiber. No, it's not actually straw, it's the actual plant fiber. Uh, but it's, it's like straw. It's raw straw. <laughs> straw that hasn't been matured. Okay. Now we can go back on our adventure. That's a lot. Look at that over there. 1,200, 1,300 experience for doing that. It's not that bad. And for farming, uh, anytime I go up there and gather, I will be getting, you know, experience. Um, cars, cars, cars. That's what we want. Uh, which we'll probably find along the roads. Uh, uh, I can make it. <clears throat> along these roads, I think I saw, why is this road like end? Punch you in the face. Okay, this isn't the road I thought it was. I thought it was this other road over here. Now we got the two from the Gears place. There were like two cars there. There was a car there. I wonder, can we take apart the... We're not going to find an engine in the refrigerators, I don't think. And that's what we really want. Oh, let's go help this guy across the road. Hey, um, do you have any groceries you need me to carry? Or, oh, yes, you do. That's excellent. Oh my God, iron breaker schematic. What? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Zombie. What the crap is that? Is that, that's yes, science tier three. What's it? 50% more debt. Okay, so that I think would go like in your iron pickaxe so that anytime you're mining something iron, you can do more damage to it and harvest it faster. Who should be awesome? Okay, there's a car. There's a car. I knew we would find cars on the road. And that was the, uh, the cop fiasco house. Oh! We haven't even looted this? What? Oh, look at that. Iron pickaxe. Thank you, but uh, mine is a little bit better. I guess we can throw that because uh, I'm pretty sure we have an, uh, an extra iron in our tool chest. Oh, we're encumbered? Oh, look, we got the engine! And a level five. Oh god! Oh my god! We got three engines. I wasn't even looking. <laughs> when we killed that zombie, I didn't even look in my inventory except for that iron breaker thing. I was excited about getting a mod automatic. Sorry, but we probably didn't even need to get this car up. Um, maybe it's the the second tier uh, where you get. Second tier and up, where you get the hello, hello. We're um, we're looking for engines. Do you happen to have any? Good sir. <laughs> well, there's no need to fall all over yourself. Oh, we missed and he hit us. Little turd head. Okay, 
That's okay. We, we got what we wanted. We can go back our we have success. We needed an engine and we got three. So I'm not even sure that we got one off of this car. The, those three may have come off of that other car that we looted, but I don't care. We got it. And that's all that matters. Um, that place is open. Uh, I hear a sparkly dude. Spark oh, look how far away he is. And I could hear the crackling. Oh, there's two of them. Maybe it, uh, they echoed off of each other, increasing the magnitude of the sound. That's what happened. Hello, we need to go home and eat. How's it going? I hope you come tomorrow to the grand opening. Oh, we only got 73 points for him. I hope you come to the grand opening of Zombieland. Uh, it's going to be good times. Tell your friends. Post it on your social media. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so silly sometimes. Um, so... I've pretty much killed all the rocks <laughs> that are close by. Uh, but we have these two big, huge boulders that I think I'm going to start focusing on getting rid of. Uh, like in my uh, gathering sessions after 20 o'clock. So we, <laughs> we got our engine. Yes. <laughs> we go down, down Paradise Road. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is maybe I'll dig up the ground and make this path wooden because no zombie should ever touch this path. They should always be confined to these areas. Um, hopefully that's how it's going to work, that they're going to get uh, come through these open areas and be confuzzled by all our bombs and traps and stuff. Also, I would like to upgrade this outer circle of frames to um, at least the cobblestone blocks so that that will lend more stability to the structure make it less likely that if these fall um, uh, that way if any of these a large patch of these get broken um, a large amount of them won't fall because of it uh, but I don't think they'll fall anyway I think this is a pretty like all the freaking doors open where were you born in a barn yes I was no I wasn't but I act like it sometimes three engines that's awesome okay let's throw our goodies and things in here Awesome. Okay. Um, put our engines down here. I wonder why it doesn't look like the engines have a quality, but the batteries do. That doesn't make sense. Oh, we forgot the electrical parts. We don't have very many of those. Here's our extra iron pickaxe that we could go melt down. We got a hunting rifle, iron breaker, schematic. That's going to be awesome. Um, but we can't do that till yes, science tier three. And I think that's like 60 or 70 for that. I'm not sure. I haven't really looked that far ahead. So we got 25 more corn. We're going to go ahead and throw it over here. Oh, we can make a chemistry station too, because we got two beakers from our last airdrop. And also, I think, I think I'll put three more storage containers over here. I don't think I have, did I, did I have, I had extra, but what did I do with them? I had like one extra. What did I do with it? I don't know. Maybe I put it downstairs. I must have. Uh, but we'll need to make more nails for that too. Oh, I pushed E and it made the sound, but it didn't open. 
Um, let's get some nails going so that I, I think I want to put that other corner as like all the mods and the mod schematics and, and stuff like that. I got an extra compound bow here. I don't think I want it there. I think I want that to be sold. We'll leave our guns and ammos. Maybe, no, maybe we'll move that upstairs eventually. Uh, we could move, actually, oh, there it is. Uh, no, we had two extra from before. Where did I put that extra? There was one left. One left. What did I do with it? And then that would be the three that we need, and we wouldn't need nails. Oh, dude. I didn't mean to take those. Okay, not in there. What the heck did I do with it? Oh. Okay, well, do we have the nails? Oh, I have them on me. We do not have, let's make 10 nails. It should take like no time at all because they're really super fast to make. Put R12 iron in there. Actually, we could just make one because we have nine on us, but I will. See what I mean? It's really super fast. So now we'll go recipes. Oh, wow. Uh, crap. And then we'll have our three to put up there. Uh, so let's move this stuff to this section. Oh, I put that iron in there. That was my iron. That was the placeholder, but that's okay. actually start trying to keep these uh, this was in there uh, also the tool and die sets which we will be needing soon we got yet another hunting rifle we could probably start selling some of those to the merchants but we're not gonna worry about that right now maybe we'll, uh, we'll make this our new cell chest Oh, we could, um, throw this iron pickaxe in there. Oh, that needs three minutes and 20 seconds. There. We got another tool that we need to smelt down. Now. All right, let's throw this book. Awesome. I love getting these schematics, even though I can't use them yet. We can use the tier ones now, which is awesome. Uh, so let's get up here, eat, place these things um, in the corner. This is going to be our, um, our mod corner. Maybe. Because uh, this is going to be where I put our chemistry set, chemistry thing, and uh, this is for first aid. No, don't punch it. What are you, an idiot? Okay, so let's eat. We need a lot. Um, I'm just going to drink a normal water. Oh, we are down low. kind of don't like having the glass jars in a separate uh, storage container. Alright, we were looking at, uh, now we have our engine. Let's get our engine. Um, uh, four springs, ten mechanical parts. 
We got it. Yes. And now we gotta go get how much forged iron? 25 forged iron, what? We got it, we got it, I think. <laughs> I think we got it. We might have to smelt up some more. Some more forged iron to have on hand. How much iron do we have in here? Ninety-four. Let's do like fifty. And I saw that we I had already selected this. Look, that takes as much as an iron bar. Oh, I think. Wait a minute. You can get up these ladders without uh, jumping. But you gotta. Oh, there's. <laughs> There's dogs! And it sounded like they were dying. Where did they die at? Oh, right there. Look at that. Are there more? Yeah, look at that. We had a dog spawn. We need to probably be on the third. Huh. Aha! Score! Oh look! There's another dog! What was he doing? Why is he running away? You probably saw his buddies die. <laughs> look! They did! They did go straight through the hole. They didn't go for the doors. And now look, he slowed down for us. And we got the kill! Yeah! He did try to go through the hole. That one's gonna need the fourth rung, I think. Why are you attacking my trees? He moved. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to hit him. Let's leave this door open and come over and try to lure, lure these guys. I don't think that they're not as tough as they were before because they don't have as many hit points. Look at me. There we go. I think there was another one too over here. We do want your rotten flesh. Stinky rotten flesh and your leather and your bones. Let's go get these other guys before they despawn. Wow. Yeah, that was working better than I thought. Just as I thought. That they would go towards the openings. Even if they do mean certain death. Because of the traps. Now, um... Oh, that was amazing. And this was a good one to test it on because the, the zombie dogs always run. Even though it's daytime. I think there's another one out there though. I don't want him to like bite me in the butt later on. Yeah, there he is. There he is. I like it that they they don't do the circly thing. I, that was like the most annoying thing in Alpha 16 when they would uh they would start to come at you and they would run around in a circle. <laughs> you were like, I can't hit this because it's running around in a circle. I really like it that they make a beeline for you um, and they don't run around like a freaking idiot uh, in a circle. I really like that. So good job, Bun Pimps. Thank you for fixing that pathing thing. Let's get our cement mixer going. What is taking us so long? We got things to do. Our first cement mixer. Yes. 
Yes, <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, it's gonna take two minutes. Um, let's see, we have the zombie flesh over here. Oh my God, we got a hundred of that. That is awesome. Okay, and we have the leather and, nope, that's over here. Pay attention. There we go. Um, so it is 16 o'clock. I really need to get now, especially now that, um, oh look, there's one over there that I didn't see. Uh, we might need to put points into parkour. Um, just so, uh, I don't think we're taking any damage off of that, that drop. But, uh, maybe if we, you know, had to make our escape <laughs> very fast and we didn't have time to build a ladder beforehand. We could jump off the roof of a building without uh, worrying about taking a bunch of damage. Can I get up there? Come on, come on. I really would like this rock to go away. And um, I'm thinking maybe in one of the episodes we might just get rid of that whole house. Uh, oh, we got so many fun things to do. We got landmines and stuff to make. I want to make a chemistry station too. Um, I wonder, because I, I think in Alpha 16, the chemistry station took a, like a burning barrel. I hope it doesn't take that because uh, you can't pick those up anymore. So I, I guess, um, let's look at that real quick. How do you make a chemistry station? It does take a burning barrel. Do we gotta like wrench it to pick it up? Three cooking pots, some short, so none of that is very hard except for the beakers, which we got in our, um, our airdrop. That was nice. So we need to go like wrench a burning barrel. Um, I think, I think there was one at that gears place. Let's go see if we can wrench up because you, you can't push E on them anymore. Hey, it's so hard to run. Now let's go see if we can get that and maybe we can get our chemistry station done today instead of like just killing rocks okay um yeah not this place let's get over in this biome so we're not hot that place is gonna be hot anyway i'm pretty sure there was a burning barrel yeah there it is right there you can't pick it up with e So let's see if we can wrench it. Come on, give me what I want. Oh, we got an electrical component. I hope it gives us the barrel, because I don't know where another one is. Oh, you, can we make a burning barrel? Oh, okay. We can make it. Ah, that's uh, that's much better. Okay, <laughs> so we have to make it. You can't pick them up after you place them, though. That doesn't make sense. You used to be able to. I don't know if I like that. But we can make it. So, hey, a bird's nest that <laughs> with an egg. They knew I didn't need those stinking feathers. There are tons of rocks over here that we could kill and get some iron too. Because uh, we definitely need more iron. <sighs> Look at our beautiful base over there. It's so awesome. Um, did I do you? Okay. 
Yes, I did. <laughs> that worked so well. <laughs> so we got little pit traps for them. They're not pit traps, but they, they will slow them down so that we can deal with them more efficiently. And they didn't seem to tear up those um, barbed wire fence very quickly. The iron spikes, though, look, they already destroyed one over here, and I think they destroyed one on that corner, too. Uh, so even though they tried, I think, to go over here, which they could, they still got caught on the corner right there. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's go make a burning barrel. It looks like it had to be made in the um, in the workstation, the workbench. So it was like three iron and some wood. <sighs> Got to push E twice on this. Man, it's so hard to go down sometimes. Ah, come on. I don't like pushing the button twice. Uh, got some more. We're going to save this little bit of iron that we got and put in our little placeholder there. And we'll throw that there. Okay, so we only needed three, I believe. I don't think we need any for the chemistry station. I need to put, I'm gonna put a ladder there. Um, if they get in here, I'm already screwed. So it's really not gonna matter. This is just so I don't have to jump. Conserve my energy, my stamina. Okay, it was just, oh, cement mixer is ready, yeah, oh, that's so good, um, back to the barrel, burning barrel, we have it, it's only 10 wood, excellent, how long does that take, 11 seconds, we'll wait, um, we'll get our two beakers, Put this, um, this. Oh no, you go up there. And we can throw the leather and the bones in here real quick. And those. And we have a burning barrel! Okay, so what else do we need? Uh, three cooking pots. I don't think we have those, so we'll have to make them. But we do have those 15 short iron pipes. There we go. Um, yeah, I think we only have like one, one cooking pot. Um, I think I might have accidentally put one in the miscellaneous chest down here. No, okay. Let's just make three so we have that extra one. Oh, we still need like two minutes on that. Um, we'll need for the pots. Here, let's um, X that out and do that first. There we go. Um, actually, I think that was more like 49. So let's do 30 more. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Chemistry station and a cement mixer all in one day. That is awesome. That is amazing. I hear a zombie out there. Oh, this isn't going to take that long at all. So we'll just wait and we'll go place it in our, our chemistry corner. Yeah, chemistry. 
entry station. I don't know what that means we can make. Yes. So I think um, that means we can make gas cans, grain alcohol, plaster casts, um, beer, but we don't have the recipe because I think that's still at the trader. Oh, we can make gunpowder cheaply. Oh, we can make military fiber here. That's right. And the first aid kits. Once we get to that point, um, we do have a blood draw kit. I think those used to get used up. Or do they? Let's try it. Yes, it does get used up. Oh no, we got it back. It didn't take any health though. I think that might be a bug. Oh, it took, it took hydration. Is that what it's supposed to do? Use blood draw kits to make blood bags. These are used to craft first aid kits. It doesn't tell, but it used to take hit points because it gives hit points. Oh, you can't even use, it used to be able to use these to get a little bit of health back, but now you can't. So, but that did take my water down. I don't know if it was down that much uh, to begin with. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see, let's let this water uh, do its thing. It probably should put us at like 90 something and then we'll try it again and see if that, if that is the drawback that you have to have water because we could have infinite water. We got our bucket. I just haven't made a spot for it yet. All right. Um, wow, that's doing a lot more. I think it gives you a stamina regen buff uh, or a thirst. I don't know. It seems to do a lot more. All right, let's do it again. Okay, we got it back, the blood draw kit, but what is our hydration at? It went all the way down to 83, so it does take uh, hydration away, which, which is okay. That's way easier to get back than your health. Plus, I guess if it damaged your health, you might actually... Uh, lose your max health and have to use bandages to get that back up. So I could see why they did Thirstation instead of uh, hit points. Yes, Thirstation. Okay, we need to place this cement mixer. <laughs> I don't hear the zombie anymore. So let's not worry about that. I think I want this side for forges. Maybe we'll have more uh, now that we have um, uh, the cement mixer. We'll need more forges. So let's plan on like two in this corner and two in this corner. Oh, I can repair it with this just because I'm lazy and I don't want to go get it. Actually, let's put this one over here. I'm lazy and I don't want to turn around in the chest behind me. Awesome. So I made this forge so we could have stuff to melt rocks down with. And I am very anal about it. I have to be a thousand because <laughs> I'm weird. Um, and I think that's going to take way more than 10 minutes. I think it might take 30 minutes to melt that. Maybe even longer. We'll see. Uh, but this is going to be our first, our way to cement. Uh, but we do need to get sand. Oh, I don't have a backup shovel. This is my main shovel. 
Um, let's put our wrench away and get our nail gun back out. We want to go get some sand from the, the nearby desert. I hear a zombie out there now. These are our, all our spare tools over there. Oh, there's another dog. Come on up. We want to go to the desert and quickly get like, I don't know, two or three thousand sand. <laughs> oh, look, we got guys over there. Hey, come be a test subject. Yeah, and you too. Oh, I missed him. They're going right for the openings, not the door. Of course, the opening standing right here, the openings are closer. I wonder if I go over here, are they still going to come? Oh, he got through. He got free. And his buddy walked right in. Look at that. So there is a weakness in the defenses. Once that first uh, corner gets... Stop it! Stop getting into my base. I don't like you. So yeah, once that goes, they can go right in. So what we might have to do is um, get our fence and maybe on this one, on the edges, turn them around the other way so we can put another uh, barbed wire right there. I think that would be the best way. So I'll probably, I'll probably, we could do that. Let's go get our fence. Let's do that because that's, um, that's a major weakness for our defenses and I don't like it. Um, I think I put my extra fence down, which I need to bring my tools up. I don't like them uh, down here. Let's just grab all of them. Actually, we were going to go get sand. Um, Yeah, let's spend a little bit of time getting the sand because uh, then I could mix it overnight and we should have plenty of room to get sand. Um, where do we want to get the sand from? There's a, still a few POIs that are close by. Uh, that we could probably raid pretty easily. Like, we haven't even been to that, that one or this one. Oh, uh, this shovel doesn't one shot sand. Almost. We'll just go to 20 o'clock. Um, I may come and do some more sand digging after we end the episode. Actually, we can go ahead and end the episode here. Um, and then I can continue this until uh, darkness. I should have brought something to drink. So now our hydration is down pretty low. We started at like 80 something. Now we're in the, the hot desert. And it's going down. And we're hungry a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and do this until probably 22 o'clock. Um, 
<laughs> so thank you for watching. If, uh, if you like the episode, hit the like button. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. It will help. It will help me immensely. Uh, leave a comment if you have any ideas or uh, criticisms, uh, <laughs> constructive criticism. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll read them and listen. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Uh, hopefully, we'll be upgrading our base with cement next episode. Yes! <laughs> and then it's only day, going to be day 12, so that'll be awesome. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!